All right, uh, welcome back for War Against Buddha Public School. Can I look at the, the map right now? Uh, what is the uh, uh the victim uh who lost her life? Hold on, she ten. Um, by the way, the Boris Karen Perez make that. Uh, this school right here, this is in the Pasadena era, uh, South Houston High School. This is South Houston High School in Pasadena. And of course, you see uh, the Crocker Street uh, from the school. It these abandoned park, and let me go zoom in down. If I can zoom in down, I got a uh, war against Buddha Public School view to see what the abandoned park look like. Um, there they are, it's right there. This is the location when they find the body at, at this abandoned park. Come like um, one person or another quit, uh, say, it's always a gang activity. Teenagers skip school, have a lot of horrible things they do. Like we small pot, have uh, sets, you know, um, you know, like other things. Of course, it's another word, but I ain't gonna repeat what the other person say on that different video because it's just for profane language, but. These are the part, man, when they find the victim by the app. And, and you see what they, it, they find the body, by the way, on the second floor on these abandoned apartment because that man want this shut down for years. Or uh, tear down, more likely. Because there is always a activity because he, the young teenager girl known as the Wild Hyena Hoodwack. They're called the Seventh Third that they had around place right here. The Ben and Parker. Because I hope sometime soon they shut the tear the department down because there's too much activity going on in this abandoned apartment. Park a street from the high school. If they don't do nothing about like that, there could be more people, or you know, more children and more teenagers go use their life over uh, the sense of bias. And, um, I know this is why, uh, good to, uh, you see the the satellite shot. Yeah, these are abandoned proper. They've been abandoned for quite some time. For like again, I hope they shut it down soon. Before more people or more students in a kiss slayer or kill or much worse. It uh, just continue. What, what thing, uh, <coughs> excuse me, right down my bag with the cold, but I'll try to get through this. Um, I want to talk about, um, a one three teen had to experience domestic virus, or dating virus. Uh, uh, it's out twice uh, before why this happened because of rage or jealousy or their theory. And now, um, some of the <coughs> oh, excuse me, some of these images, you know, my angle show you because it's why um, it was fair away, you know, um, it's a hard pack, favorite I have. Teen, they invited away to prevent much. 
But uh, Mike, next year they're gonna have Dak again and finish with and Team Dave Virus. And Corn and the Master Virus. Period. Cause I don't wanna see no more uh team and uh <coughs> <coughs> I apologize for that carpet. But I would say, speak out against T. Dave Vine, speak out the mess of violence. And they keep, he's going to say something like, all right, I'm going to switch it to the cold comments. Uh, to, they are talk about the light of Kevin Pelletis. A uh, 15 old teenager in Pasadena, or no. Learn a lot of life when um, she's thinking about the future. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. She would think about the future. And um, one day, graduated, had kids, and all. Um, I have been a family, but sadly, um, last week, all that was taken away from her by a savage coward, uh, because he did not want her to go to school. Well, well, I'm going, I'm going to take you to a new story. All right, pretty me. <coughs> <clears throat> Read it for you. I apologize for it. Yeah, she say, uh, cause I, I'm going to read, uh, mm -hmm. there you go. Be ready with me, Ron, so I got some. Oh, here we go. If she did get the medicine, he will kill her and her life in in blood. The very conversation itself on video. Now, yeah, by the way, the, the moment uh, he shredded her to death, her final moment was, I don't want to die. I know. She was crying out. I want to die, Karen. Cause Karen told him she didn't want sex, and the boyfriend began to choke her investigation. You know, why? I just hate when some of these kids always do that. Record stuff with a video that can entertainment, and not entertainment. Between life and death. I don't know why these youngsters continue to do those low things. Because if you don't put your cell phone away, you go to school and learn your education. Because, because she never returned, by the way, Karen never returned home again when she went to school. But, but when I want to send it a short message, by the way, for all the teenage girls. If you see something suspicious when somebody tells you they skip school coming through them, and so you see a direct test message, please report it to the principal or a local police. Because that could say somebody's life or say your life the same way you go to guys you see something suspicious or somebody sent a threat test message or the life report it don't be afraid uh do that if you do that Reporter, it be say some of my life, or of course your life as well. Cause, 
you know, stand up against the cowards is always make a difference. Alright, I'm going to put a wrap of war against the public schools. Speck of uh, teen day violence. And of course, remember, camp harass. If you have somebody who be in abusive relationship or you're a teen and a young adult or uh, you've been a victim of domestic violence, call the, next, the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. I'm going to link to that on my War Against Buddha Public School. You know, I in Buddha to death, the War Against Buddha Public School on my, on my Facebook channel. I also can post the number you see on, on the bottom on my YouTube uh, message world. That's the domestic violence hotline, the national domestic violence hotline. By the way, the, rest, the national domestic violence hotline is recently celebrated 20 years uh, right here in America. The national violence hotline is located in Austin, Texas. Because, you know, and again, one more time, the hot guy is 1-800-799-SAFE. That's 1-800-799-7233. And for, for the, the police family, I know, they lost their, their daughter, I know. There's only thing we could do just keep the family in our prayer for now. The prayer family, I want to keep uh, y'all in my prayer. That's where my hope justice will be served on this preventive tragedy. I know this could be a long road to come. And of course, by the way, for the 50 Oak Killer. But uh, we're not going to identify the name because he's a martyr. I uh, know he's going to have his day in court. And, um, he probably will be trial to the door, but we wait to see what happens. And uh, we will keep you posted on that. And of course, uh, we will get to him show us info of what's going on in the story. But uh, he's scared to do back in court. Sometime soon, I know we're gonna keep you posted what's going on and why he did. And I right, this has been the War Against Blue Public School special and Teen Day of Violence and Abuse Relationship. I right, thank King, thank you for joining us, and rest in peace. Karen Perez.